What's up guys, Chris this one. How's everyone doing? Today's gonna be a different style video. I'm gonna first show you off the new Grizzly camo designs. Second, I'm gonna show you the Lego rocket I built and give you a simplified version of how that Saturn V rocket got three Americans to the moon and back. And then I'm gonna give away a mud jug and then you guys are gonna see the actual build of this massive freaking Saturn V rocket. So I already got my lip packed right now. I went to buy dip two days ago. I saw something like camo-ish. I'm like, hey, give me that can, buddy. Give it over here. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I want that can. And here we go. I guess these are the new freaking camo cans. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a nice little buck there. Right now, all I know that the regular Grizzly Wintergreen has this new buck design and then the pouches. A guy DM me on Instagram. His name is Eric Hartzler, and he showed me a picture of, there it is right there, of a freaking ram on a can of pouches, which is freaking cool. But I don't know where you got them, guys. Just call your local places. I'm telling you, every time I do one of these videos, get to know the cashiers. Be cool with them, and they'll put shit aside for you. All right, so let's get a close look of the Saturn V rocket. And there it is in all of its glory. And for scale, there's little mini astronauts. So it shows you basically how big this sucker actually is. Isn't it freaking breathtaking, Keanu? Isn't it breathtaking, bro? You're breathtaking. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. All right, this rocket is broken down to three stages. We got the first stage, second, and the third. Up here in the command module, that's where Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong are. We're in Florida, Cape Canaveral. This shit, five, four, three, two, one. It's going, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. 42 miles up, the explosive bolts detach the first stage. Be careful. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. That's what I did not want to happen. This separates, right? This just ends up landing in the in the Atlantic Ocean. These five J2 rockets psh, power up. It's still going, bitches. It's still going. At about 103, 106 miles, stage two detaches. This sucker goes. This engine starts up, and now we're about 118 miles up, right? We're going around the Earth right where they like to call it the parking orbit. So we're gonna be orbiting the Earth for another, I don't know, two hours. We'll probably go around it like two, three times, making sure it calms, everything's chill, everything is good to go. And then this sucker just fires up again. Whew. We get the right trajectory towards the moon. Now we're in the vacuum of space. Now we're gonna do one of the most important maneuvers in this whole mission. These will just pop out. Whew. That will pop out. Oh shit. So these pop out. Everyone's in here, guys. All three astronauts are in here. Now Mike Collins, he has to do a 180 on this sucker. Dock, the lunar lander. This says bye bye bitch. And this is the only piece that goes to the moon, right? So now we're just headed to the moon bros. Now we're in lunar orbit. We're going around the moon. Now, right before we detach to go down to the moon surface, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin go down to the lunar module. They'll transfer in here. Mike Collins, he doesn't get to walk on the moon in 1969. It was only Buzz and Neil. So they detach, right? And Mike Collins is just gonna stay orbiting the moon. So now we're slowly descending. Right, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong are shitting their pants right now. Boom, they land on the moon, the eagle has landed. They go down to the moon, they plant the flag, they collect moon samples. I think the, the first trip to the moon was like 48 pounds with a rock. Um, they placed a mirror on the moon where we can shine a laser from Earth to the freaking moon and it'll tell us exactly the distance from the moon is to us. Dude, the moon from here from Earth is like 232,000 miles away. So they planted a freaking mirror thingy where we can shine a light and we now know that every year the moon is an inch and a half away from the Earth. It moves further from the Earth. So here we go. We got our samples. We're in the we're, we're back in and it's time to meet up with Mike Collins in orbit. The descent stage stays on the moon. Whew. Just this little sucker goes up. So they take off perfectly timing until they rendezvous with Mike Collins who's been orbiting Earth. Boom. So they dock. Rocks go back. Neil and Buzz Aldrin go back to the command module and boom. This just stays in orbit in the moon. Most likely just crashes into the moon. These suckers go back towards Earth. It's about a three day trip, guys. You're in this little service module where two other dudes, dude, you're, if you're claustrophobic, hmm, good luck. So now we're in Earth orbit, right? We don't need this sucker anymore. That detaches. And if you guys see any space movies or astronaut movies, they got a heat shield down and that's how they go and break into Earth's atmosphere. Boom, parachutes come up, then they splash down and they pick up our, our, our dear friends. Mission success. Now it's time to give away a free mud jug and the winner is boom right there. Congrats, you just won a signed copper chrome mud jug. 
Get a hold of me on Instagram and I'll go ahead and ship you out this sucker ASAP. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, because I'm going to give away another mud jug, sign mud jug from the shop in next Thursday's video. All right, guys, here we go. The Saturn V build. Man, this was amazing. This is the box right here. It came with like 12 freaking bags. The way I did it is I, I, I broke it down to like three or four bags a night. And I actually just spread it around, right? This is the manual. This is the building instructions. It was freaking like a book. But the first like few pages was like, you know, the blueprints, the, the stages, everything broken down. They, they have pictures of the actual like pictures from the moon landing, pictures of the engineers and how they designed it. It's a pretty cool little book. But I decided to use my iPad for the instructions. But here we go. Here's the build. This was uh this wasn't easy, man. This this really was not easy um, because of the way it's designed, right? I mean, you, it's broken down into three stages and that's how they kind of break down the bags, which is actually nice, but it goes up, right? So you're building up and it's this narrow thing. So, but I mean, regardless, it was, it was, it was still fun. Um, it, it looks like it's solid, but it's not. There is some def definitely, definitely there's some hollow points. It's a lot, uh, lighter than it looks but it's not light it still has some weight to it if that makes any freaking sense but i filmed this whole build again it took around uh eight hours i think um there was a lot of parts that were done in pairs or in fours like you'll see right here i mean it was so basically it was kind of rep repetitive but also sped up the process you're either building four like pieces or just two um, most of the build, I want to say 50% of the build or 60% of the build was just the first stage alone. That's, that's the biggest freaking, that's the biggest stage, right? It has a five F1 rockets. Um, the other stages have J2 rockets, which are a lot smaller. Just in case you guys were wondering, I mean, I ain't no freaking rocket scientist or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I, I, I was debating whether or not I should kind of explain how that rocket got our boys up there. But um, I figured, why not? Why not learn something? I mean, this, I mean, I have friends that would probably never realize how this rocket worked. Um, and I hope at least a few of you guys actually appreciated that and learned something today, rather than you know, grizzly this or dip that. I mean, there's more than life to dip. Unfortunately, not unfortunately. Fortunately, there's more than life than just dipping. And boy, speaking of dipping, I need a filler here. But here we go. I think this one it was just two like pieces. Here we are building four. Man, this is I'm going too fast. I think I sped this up too fast. What do you guys think? I mean, if I, this is eight times speed. If I would have done like two or four, oh man, that would have been like a 40 minute video. Look at that. Look at those flags, dude. Oh, it's so sick. Now, this is a Lego created set. Um, as a designer or a Lego fan, you can actually submit your own designs, upload them to lego.com and you can have fans to vote on them or backers you didn't, it doesn't cost anything you just be like hey i back this dude's design and if he makes it it's damn right i'll buy it right so if you get over 10,000 backers on that uh lego you'll you'll get a official response from lego and they'll send it to their de design team and their engineers and if they go with your design you actually make a percentage off They'll, they'll make it a, a set and you'll make a percentage off of it, which I think is pretty freaking cool. Now, I'm a freaking nerd, but I'm not that nerdy, dude. Like, I don't think I can freaking design something. Uh, I'm good at making memes and shit, but that's about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's man, just actually just seeing this, I want to freaking build again, dude. Like, I don't, I don't even have any sets ready to go up. I think next week I want to do... What's next? I I like the whole Lego build, gameplay, then dip challenge. I think that's a good mix. There's some people on my channel who are only subscribed to my gaming videos, even though the last five, six gaming videos have done really bad. And I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to still make those. But I think there's some people that just subscribe for my gaming and some people who just subscribe to for my dip challenges. And then there's obviously the hardcore fans out there who are are probably the only ones watching or listening to me right now. Everyone else has clicked off and pissed off because they didn't want a mud jug. Damn bastards. Freaking, they must be liberals. I'm just saying, they want free shit. <laughs> mm. Sorry guys, I had to load my lip. Well not load, I need a refresher. But 
Dude, this was so fun. Man, look at that. Just, just seeing it come together. This is, just, this is just the first stage. Now, these are how the rockets are put together. You got these little spikes. And you have, look at those right there. Those little tools. They snap in hard. And when they freaking click, they're steady. They ain't going nowhere, dude. Super cool. This was like putting the, the engines on this rocket is was probably the most satisfying fun part of this build i guess it's because there's orange in them it was different and it wasn't as repetitive or same pieces used in you know the rest of the rocket but here we go you guys can see the uh what they made it look like a fire or whatever right that's pretty cute now they actually sell like you go to amazon they'll sell like lighting kits i mean you have to kind of take a take a take those parts out and, and i heard the review say that it's a pain in the ass to freaking put the lights in there but you can actually make those suckers light up when you have it on display which i thought was pretty cute <laughs> this is massive rocket um i believe it's 34 35 inches tall you can display it laying down or display it standing up um i wanted it in my room but no nah, man i think i want it here because i'd rather display it standing up when i'm home or wherever I'm pretty wasted. <laughs> I'm going to knock that sucker out. I'm going to get so damn high that I'm going to start playing with it. And it's not going to be good. It's going to be bad for the rocket. And so I'm just going to leave it here. So if you come visit the shop, uh, when you come my cubicle, you can see my little rocket that I built. And you can hold it. You can touch it if you want. But there it is. First stage Dunsky. As you can see, the lunar lander in the background. Isn't that cute? A little alien. Put a little alien up there with Matt McConaughey head on top of it. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know. That's just me, though. So here we go. <laughs> We're building the second stage. This, um, again, that first stage is most of the work. Now we're now we're just coasting now, dude. Um, the third stage is a lot smaller, so it's not as obviously thick. But this is this is still pretty pretty freaking thick, dude. Now you can see it's it's hollow, right? But those brackets, just those two long pieces right there. That would, that's what keeps it together, man. It's crazy. I mean, how do you design this? I mean, you gotta be playing with Lego since you're like out of your mom's badge in order to have the knowledge. Like, I don't, I can't do this, dude. My whole life, I mean, as far as a Lego set build, this is my fifth build, sixth build. That's it. And I'm like, dude, how do these guys come up with it? How do you know what piece to put on there? I mean, is there pieces in the set that are unique to only the set? Who knows? But some of you dudes, man, you guys, I mean, the, the Lego videos aren't the most popular ones, just put it that straight. But I got a few of you guys tag me on your Lego builds and tell me you're making me go back to playing with Legos. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, that wasn't my intention, guys. Um, but only cool guys play with Legos. At least that's what my mom used to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as this channel is concerned, guys, it's, it's one video a week. And I'm content with that. I can still enjoy my weekends. Came a point, like one of the main reasons why I wanted to just do one a week is, is I was losing subscribers. Whenever I uploaded a video that, that day, I would lose more subscribers than I would gain. Man, I was getting like, oh my God, a year or two ago, I was getting a hundred subscribers, like almost a day. Now I'm getting like freaking two, like, YouTube has digged me about 95% of my views, of my revenue, which I wasn't making much to begin with. My subscribers, all that stuff. So why am I going to bust my butt for two videos a week and get that in return? That was the whole, now well, that was a real reason why I wanted to do one a week. Mm -hmm. Something really cool though, um, for the next Lego build. I'm going to get the Stranger Things set, which is one of my favorite shows. I mean, I don't know if you guys watch Stranger Things, but I mean, everything I built was either a rocket <laughs> or a vehicle from, from a movie. And I haven't done a house yet, so that will be definitely pretty cool. Then that one has more pieces than this one. This one has 1,969, which is nice considering the moon landing was in 1969. So I think they did that on purpose. I didn't, I didn't count every piece to make sure it was 1969 or 1969, but um, yeah, so I, I'll, I'll take Lego's word for it. That's pretty cool, but this this um, Stranger Things one is 2200, I want to say, which is definitely cool. 
I mean, the, the problem with this one is filming it, right? It's, it's, it goes up in a tower. But if I'm building like a house, I think I'd be able to get away with just one angle, which would be pretty cool, because just doing this was, was very difficult to, you're building something and then you're trying to snap it in, but then you look at your viewfinder and you're snapping it in out of frame. So you have to pull back and make sure you're centered, which is really difficult to do. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna bore you with that. With that, this is this is it, guys. This is the the last stage here, and uh, looks like we're done ski here. We just gotta snap these suckers on, right? Yeah, you got that J2 rocket, just one J2 rocket, and we're done. That, oh no, wait, we're not done. Oh, that, no, oh, der, the command and service module, of course. Now those little spikes up there, if something went wrong with liftoff, that front spike is like an uh, ejection seat that's connected to the actual uh, service module, which is really cool. But after that first stage and that first rocket comes out, you're screwed, you're screwed, screwed out of luck. But there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's where the lunar module goes. We're all done ski here, and there it is in all of its glory. I hope you guys this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week. And you guys all know this, if you ain't dipping, you ain't living.